Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to episode 49 of the Rags to Riches Season 1 Challenger Series with your host Jay. In today's episode, the very first thing we got to do is haul some milk. I don't have any show notes. We're just kind of going off the bat and we'll see what we can get done. I do have to be done today by 2 o'clock. It's now 11, so we need to get rolling. We need to get started uh, because me and the woman, uh, Mrs. Morano, are going out to eat for Valentine's Day. So we've got short amount of time to record, so let's go ahead. And uh, how do I shut that back? What Shut back, please. Hey, there we go. All right. Let's go ahead and let's make the trip over to pick up some bottled milk because we have a great demand for some bottled milk right now as we speak. And we need to get that sold. So, and we should have a big backlog. We're drifting. We're drifting. Whoa, hello. Um, we should have a huge backlog of milk because we have slept a couple months since the Between the Episode live stream we did last night. If you're not watching that, you really should. We just catch up with everybody. Everybody talks with each other. Um, we hang out and have a great time. Sometimes we'll do stuff and, and have a little fun towards the end, you know. Um, it just depends on how everything's going. Um, but regardless... You guys should be watching those. It's just a lot of the boring work. We're drifting everywhere. What's happening? All right. Uh, let's go ahead and shoot up behind. We'll go. We'll take a trip in the woods here. Go out a little off road with this trailer. This is actually very flat right here. There's not many trees in the way either. Whoa. Our braking system could use some tuning. Now, I don't like the recent update of this trailer. Whoever is uh, in charge of the trailer here, in charge of making this trailer, I should say, you have to come to a complete stop, and it can only do one single, like no double stacking. And it's just that, you know, that you want to talk about realistic, that's not realistic. Like, you should be able to double stack pallets on this trailer and ratchet strap them down. But anyway. Let's do our first load. We're sitting at three million eight hundred and fifty-eight dollars seven hundred and five, or eight hundred fifty-eight seven hundred five dollars, I should say. Let's go ahead and let's start selling. They're going for about eighty-four hundred dollars a piece, I believe, or per thousand. I'm not sure, but look at that. We're right back over that four milli mark, guys. Uh, we like. I don't think money's. Like, I don't think money is no longer an obstacle. It just, at this point, honestly, I think it just depends on what we want to do. And I'm I'm not even fully decided on what to do next. Like, I, I need your guys' feedback in the comments. I've got a new product that we're going to be making today, a new factory that i seen a fellow YouTuber make a video on. I believe his name was Driver53. Three, I think, or something like that. Driver fifty three gaming. He makes cool little, you know, mod showcases and stuff. And I, I just happened to see him. I was like, oh yeah, this is cool. Like, we'll give this a shot. You know, pretty cool little video. Let's see. Uh... Okay, yeah, we got all the bottled milk. So let's go take these last four pallets here and drop them off. Just a little banger here. An extra eighty four hundred dollars per pallet, I believe, is how it goes. Um, we also have a bunch of furniture sitting there. And we have a bunch of bread. So what we may do after we sell off these last four pallets is I may go around, pick up the bread, the furniture, uh, the honey, all that good stuff. And we may roll down to the shop and just sell off all this extra stuff. I mean, look, we it, it's been sitting here for a while. So I'm going to jump ahead to when I have it all loaded up just like we used to do. Well, actually, we can't do that anymore, can we? Because this trailer kind of sucks now. We can only max out the trailer's capacity, which is very, very low now. This trailer sucks now, man. Whoever is the modder that makes this, you got to go back. Uh, like, you can't just do that to us. Like, before, you could put, I think it was, like, what, up to 45 pallets. And now, like, watch. I guarantee you that this caps it out. Watch this. Yeah, like, look, I'll try to load it again. Loading area is full. Unable to load any more items of this size. That's just atrocious, man. You go from 45 pallets with this mod to, I mean, what? We have 14 pallets. 45 to 14. That's not, it's not good. It's not good. I'm going to be deleting this mod and or fighting the last version and, and uh, down 
down updating, I guess, whatever that's called. Down dating. There you go. I'm going to go to the last version because, I mean, I'm, I'm just being honest. This sucks. The new features are okay. Like, the shift R to load is cool. But this trailer sucks now. Like, why would I use this instead of a 53 foot? You know what I mean? It's just not good. But it is what it is. Let's go ahead and sell off the bread. A little bit of chunk of change. That's, that's why I kind of ignore it because it only gives us like 80K. And I know it's like, Jay, but you remember when like you was trying hard to get 100K, 80K? Well, yeah, but we're sitting at 4.1 mil and we don't have enough stuff to like drain that from our bank account. Also, if you missed the Between the Live episode, the dealer got a telehandler. So they are getting new equipment as well. But, uh, you know, I'm going to ignore the honey and everything else. We are going to go ahead and go pick up our load of clothing, which should be about ready to rock. I'm going to park the truck down here, and I'll see you guys when we are back at the spinnery. All right, guys, back at the spinnery here. It looks like, actually, we only have three full pallets, so it's not really even worth it, right? Um, hmm. I mean, I guess we could load these up, I suppose, and just have it ready to go. We could alternatively load these up. Well, it's going to load them up anyway. I'll tell you what. Let's load all these clothes up. Well, I guess there was more. Hmm. Let's check. There might actually be more. It's just not... It wasn't showing it. Oh, yeah. There's a ton more. What? So, yeah, we've got... I'm pretty sure we got, like, a full load. Let's just go ahead and uh, look at all the fabric we got. Jeez. Oh, yeah. Uh, we're getting low on fuel, so we're going to have to consider that. Or fuel. We're getting low on wool, so we do need to think about it. Can I, like, open this up? Oh, there we go. So you can watch it. Check that out. Isn't that so cool? Wow. 97%. We should get a little bit more of one single pallet. This right here is going to be another mil, and we're going to be setting it like five mil. We definitely got to get a screenshot of this, though. So. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are all loaded up here. I did get us a couple of thumbnail shots, but, I mean, this is so cool. Watch this trailer. This is so gold. Puts the boards up and then loads up. Time to go. And you know what? We're going to drive all the way there. I'm not going to skip ahead this first run here um, because this truck is so cool. I love the, like, white letter lettering on tires. I guess I'm just, like, you know, kind of old-fashioned in that way. Um, I don't get... Why did tires go away from that? That's what I don't understand. Let's see. We're going to do some a bit of off-roading here. Yeah. Check that out. Yeah. Check that out right there. Oh, we're moving. Yes, sir. Also, do you guys like the lighting? I do have a mod called relight where it has a little bit more realistic shadows a little bit more realistic uh lighting just makes it look less cartoony in my opinion and I, I enjoy it so far it's pretty cool the shadows are more uh realistic i would say the sun looks more realistic it's like early morning there's a bit of a fog it just it looks it, it, it's i think it's pretty good so let's go over here Let's open back the curtain here and get it ready. Let's pull up here and let's begin our first bit of sailing here. Let's see. Let's close in where we can see. Let's open up our HUD. We're sitting at 4,190,707 big boy bangers. We got 40,000 liters worth of clothing. Let's get pulled in. Gosh, guys, check out that money. Absolutely flying upwards. That is just... What's the prices right now, real quick? Let's check clothing. Oh, my gosh, $30,000 a pallet? In the last episode, we were selling clothes at, like, 24k a pallet. Now it's 30. Wow. We still got 21k to go. Watch that number. Oh, my gosh. You got to be kidding me. Guys, I mean, if you're ever struggling for money, just go full on cotton and wool, sheep farms and cotton, baby. And I mean, your problem's solved. It's just solved. That's just what it is. You have solved the money problem. Like F all the 
government subsidy bull crap. Start you a cotton production, start you a wool production, and you're gold. That's how you do it. You put in the work. That's what I'm talking about. 1.3 mil off of that harvest right there of clothing. Well, off of that delivery, I should say, of clothing. Guys, just look at this truck. I love this truck. I am in love. Full on. I want to see if we can pick up the wool because we have a bunch of wool we need to pick up. I am going to skip ahead to that real quick because I'm just rambling on at this point. And I'll see you guys in, to see if we can pick up the wool from the sheep farm. All right, ladies and gentlemen, coming in hot here. Putting on that J brake. Let's see if we can load this up. We should be able to, I would assume. Uh, oh, yep, there it goes. What do you know? How close do we have to be? I assume pretty dang close. And these guys probably need, I think they're out of hay for their food, so. Oh yeah, we've only got 8.5K. No worries though, we're still gonna sell some more clothing because it's at the top dollar price right now. And we have like 15K more, but we also need to get this wool up there to continue that production. Uh, a bit of news, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, if you watched my last live stream of setting up my next RP video, um, I did get Terra Farm to start working. I still need to practice with it. I'm not sure, you know, entirely how it works, how to do what I want it to do, I think is the good word to say. Um, let's see, I gotta be turned around on it. Oh, I gotta dump this out. Hold on. So now, how does this work? I forgot. Do we just like pop it out there? Not enough space to unload. Okay, how about now? How about, hey. Hey, there we go. Unload that wool, son. Oh my gosh, it's it's putting it right back in. Turn off auto load, please. Yes, do that. Now unload it. Why is it? All right. Oh my gosh, man. We have to hold these up. Guys, if somebody could make it to where productions, you don't have to do this when they make mods. That would be awesome. Because now I have to hop out every single time we unload only four pallets. Ugh. Kill me now. Let me hold this up real quick. Because that, you know. Yeah, that's realistic, guys. Yeah. Let me. Okay. I got it. Don't worry. Don't worry. I got it, guys. Don't worry. We'll get this together. Yes. Let's move these over as well. We should be able to auto load these up. Let's turn it back on. Okay. The pickup and delivery is cool for like store stuff, but like as far as like delivering wool to productions, this trailer sucks. But I mean, we kind of can't be real picky. You know what I mean? Unfortunately, our best trailer for auto loading pallets got gutted by the modders for whatever reason <clears throat> also if you notice over here while that's loading up we do have a new sleep point and a little just a just a little house just a little cabin type house here just a basic house you know it's got a grill on the back propane grill we can't go in unfortunately i wish that they would allow us to do so Bedroom up top, let's take a look. Yeah, just a basic bedroom. Basic kitchen, just a small kitchen, you know. Just a basic house. Just an extra house to have up on the hill in case we want to spend the night up here. We have all the clothes. Yep, we've got them all loaded up. 4,000, I tell you what, we're gonna leave this guy here and we're just going to let that load up over time because only 4,000 isn't really worth the trip. Um, now, what we need to do, let's see. What was I needing to do last night? Uh, this has good pH and good fertilization. This has bad and bad, so we need to get some limer set up on this guy. But first, let's go ahead and feed the sheep. And I have a plan for all this straw right here. So bear with me while we feed the sheep real quick. And we're going to install that new production that I want to get in here. And I'm guessing, um, where do we want to put it? I guess we'll put it where the TMR mixing station is. And I'll tell you what, I think it's time that we retire the TMR mixing station. I mean, it, it's been a while. I think it is time. We now have enough money to where money's not an object anymore to us. We're doing very, very well for ourselves on the Rags Riches farm. We definitely have come into the riches. I am, uh, Pretty sure. Let's go ahead and dump this hay in here. Get this. Whoa, the trailer's glitching out. Because it hit the roof there. 
Let's go ahead and dump that in. Then let's go take the rest over here and try to give it to the cows. Hopefully it has enough room to accept it. And the cow farm is doing pretty well. I found a workaround for the mineral feed. Uh, we still pay for it, but I had to find a workaround for it to be able to get it in bulk. Okay. Pull me on in, please. Aha, there we go. Oh, it's going to glitch out. Oh, we're into the roof there. Dang it, we couldn't put it all in there. Well, that's fine. We do need this trailer, so we are going to have to dump. Oh, uh, we can dump it in this. This takes hay and turns it to silage. Let's put the rest of this 48K worth of hay. Because we have some laying on the ground over there, and we're not necessarily hurting for it anymore. Let's go ahead and uh, dump this in here. And I might do that with the other bit of hay laying over there just to clean up a bit. Now, what I need to do is we need to flap our wings. Just kidding. Let's go ahead and pick up as much of the straw laying here as humanly possible because we need it for what we're about to do dang that was a lot of straw come on tractor come on you're on tracks what do you mean how are you getting stuck there we go okay now that we got the straw loaded up and out of the way let's go ahead and deconstruct the tmr mixing station which is right here sell yes Oh, we got two bells there. Let's go ahead. I guess we can get rid of our mixer now, too. So we'll do that later. I'm just going to pull it to the side. Get it out of the way. We can do that on a between the episodes live stream or something. All right. So the location that I want this is close enough to the... Uh, close enough to the straw field, pretty much. But it should be. Here it is. The straw production mod. And we're going to put this... Right in front of the barn, I think. And then you can imagine people coming through and buying our production here. Yeah, right there would work. Oh, no. Look. It put an indent into the landscaping. I'm not going to worry about it, guys. I'm just so past worrying about landscaping at this point. Like, it just is what it is. You know what I mean? Heck with that. All right, let's go ahead and dump this straw into there, and then we'll do like a mini time lapse, if you will, of picking up the rest of the straw and dumping that in. We also need to enable it, I suppose. Let's go ahead and back him up. Whoever came up with this idea was smart because, I mean, like if you do weed or anything, you have way too much straw, unless you turn off the swath. Which I guess you could do, but why would you do that when you can make money? I guess it does fertilize the field, but you get what I'm saying. Alright, that's unloaded. That's out of the way. Let's check out... Oh, does it need water too? Hmm. Okay. No active productions. Okay. Let's go to production window, straw accessories, and a straw crate. So it does need water. So, I wonder, let's see, let's activate and activate. So, now we need to go get water. So, okay, now we're in a bit of a pickle here. I'm not going to worry about the water at this very moment. We may transport it over here towards the end of the episode. And if I forget, then we will get to it in the next one and or a in between the episodes live stream. But let's go ahead, fold this out. Let's go ahead and start a mini time lapse here and get all this straw picked up. So I'll catch you guys after the time lapse. Ladies and gentlemen, um, I have encountered a problem after recording the time lapse of picking up the straw. And if you look at the screen, I mean, I'm rocking five frames per second. And it, it just happened all of a sudden. So I'm going to have to figure out what's going on. Oh, God. If the episode... If I can't continue, then I don't know what we're going to do. Yeah, I don't know what to do, guys. Um... I can't play on five frames. I mean, 
just take a look. Like, oh my gosh. It's like the recording is fine. We're recording at 60 frames. Everything else is fine. The rest of the computer is working fine. It has to be a mod, I'm guessing. I'm hoping it's not the straw. Oh my gosh. I'm hoping it's not the straw production. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Not good. Not good. Okay. I'm going to go see if I can fix this. Yeah. Don't use the straw processing mod because as you've seen, I was literally rocking five FPS and I've got a pretty banger PC. I want to show you that it's gone. I basically had to go in. I restarted the whole computer. It was still at five FPS. No matter what I did, I lowered the graphics, everything to low, all that bull crap. And I was like, the only thing that's really changed on the map was the straw process. What it was specifically was the straw pallets it was producing. They were what was tanking the FPS. So I deleted the mod from my mods folder entirely um and now it's gone and now we're good i'm rocking 70 fps now at a consistent 1440p gaming so and like certain maps are 120 plus so what we're going to do from now on unless we absolutely need the swath we're simply going to just use it to refertilize the field and i mean I th i'm pretty sure right here we're good on straw yeah, we're good here. We still need to figure out how to spread the, the straw and the hay uh, or the straw into their bedding to make separated manure. Uh, I simply, the tool that we were using wasn't working. Check out that cow. It's freaking taking it easy. All right. Well, I'm not going to worry about doing the rest of the straw swath. Uh, I guess we'll just keep what we have, or we can just go ahead and finish this last row here, but we'll simply uh, reseed over that, or replant, I should say, over that. Let's go ahead and go down this final line here. But yeah, guys, you talk about a scare. I thought for a second that we just lost the entire playthrough. I was like, oh no, because I loaded in on my RP map that has tons of mods on it and tons of stuff spawned in on no man's land and i was running a consistent 130 frames so i was like well that's not it i was like the other maps are working completely fine right and uh yeah turns out i was like well what's the only thing that's changed and it was the straw processing unit so yeah don't use that whatever you do all right Let's take this little bit here, this 120,000 liters, and let's go park this bad boy, and then let's grab the planter, which is right there, and let's replant this. Now, I don't know why, but last time it was planting, it did a headland of grass for whatever reason. It's like it didn't recognize that that was a field. So, and i tell you what, we're not going to use this John Deere. This John Deere is so slow. Whoa. Uh, that John Deere is so slow compared to this case tractor, which goes 32 miles an hour. Now, I know it's because that it's on tracks, like all of its tires are tracks. And Brian let us know last night during the live that uh, tractors on tracks are, by default, slower than tractors with normal tractor wheels. Now, I'm guessing it's because this one is half and half that it, it still can go at least 30. But, uh, yeah, that, that John Deere is pretty dang slow. We need to sell that little planter there. It's just chilling. Let's move this over here because this kind of stays in this general area. I tell you what, actually, we can use this one to plant the wheat. It will be fine, yes. Yes, all right, let's get him ready here. Oh, we're going to tip. Whoo-wee. Man, this planter is very heavy. All right, let's go ahead. We're going to set up a course for our guy here. Create job. Whoops. Create job, CP field work, field position here, target position here. So I remember I said roads separate stuff, and I was thinking we could just connect these two fields and make them one big wheat field and then possibly like erase this little bit here and just have it be like there. We do need to do some terraforming to the woods here, and we need to get rid of the logs. We need to get rid of all that. But I'm going to be honest with you. I simply don't want to do any more logging um, for a while. I, I don't know what it is. Where we did so much logging at the beginning of the series, every time I try to do logging again, it burns me out so fast. I just cannot. 
You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, we're, we'll have to figure out what to do about that. Um, I may, what we could do is I may have somebody come on and do the logging for me. We'll have to see, but yeah, we'll, we'll just have to see about that and how that would work out because I honestly don't have no idea how that would work. Let's go ahead and start this guy on his way. And as he's doing that, uh oh, uh, let me move, please. Hey, let me move. Guys, I think you guys are going to enjoy the next RP video and series. Um, I'm not going to do like a back to back of like, let's say, for example, just as example, the lawn care business RP. We're not going to just do back to back episodes like this rags series. It'll be like one episode a week of each RP. So just keep that in mind um, in terms of wanting more episodes of that specific series. Uh, I want to, like, I do one episode this week of, or last week of the RP lawn care business. And then this week, I want to do one episode of the, I think we're going to do landscaping. I'm not 100% decided yet. It'll either be landscaping, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Um, but I, I think so far, I've got a pretty cool idea of a start for a landscaping series. And I've already started kind of setting it up there. Uh, you guys have to let me know. But, uh, yeah, as far as rags goes, still enjoying it. But I, I do think that money... Oh, he's folding, unfolding. I was like, why is he sitting still? Look how long this takes. I know that's, like, realistic, and that's actually how it is IRL. But, dang. You know what I'm saying? Now the other side has to defold. <laughs> it's just, He's sitting here for a hot minute, man. All right. This planter needs moved. I tell you what, while he's doing that and we have the time, let's go ahead and unhook here. Let's see, we got plenty of diesel. Let's go ahead and, and extend our grass field, I think, is what's next. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's grab the plow. I tell you what, hang on. I was wanting to upgrade this plow before I use it again and completely forget. I think you guys show me this. How wide is this? 26 meters? How wide is this? Oh, yeah, what? This is way bigger. 26 meters attachers i'm not sure what that's for but sure yeah attachers um main color um case ih color nah, beige that's pretty cool brown pink I'm, I'm about to rock this hot pink i ain't even kidding i'm not even joking pink and white because hey you know what i'm saying i'm just saying something a little different you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Um, I just don't want like a basic freaking gray. And we got way too much red. I guess we could rock orange. What about JCB? What about Challenger? What about John Deere yellow? I kind of like the John Deere yellow. What about... Let's do this yellow. This is unique. 880K. Or 88,000, I should say. Um, Okay. Let's go ahead and... Well, if I could start my engine, please. Here we go. I'm going to go ahead and take this back to the shop, and I'll see you guys when we're picking up our new plow. Ladies and gentlemen, look how wide this thing is. Can we even get it out of the gate? I may actually have to unrealistically fly it out. Um, actually, yo, this plow to, is too wide to get through this. Is there any way? No, look, it's actually too... Oh, uh oh. It's too wide, so we're actually going to have to fly this over. So just for the people that don't like unrealistic stuff, turn away. We got to shimmy this out. Oh, my gosh. This thing is so wide that I can't even get it out of the shop area. Wow. Yeah, don't ask how we just did that. Let's go ahead and move over and get started working on our, our uh, field extensions. That is wicked. Check that out. Let's unfold it while we're driving over. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Nice and straight. Attaches directly to the tractor. Oh. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. This is what I'm talking about. Like, I'm just saying. You talk about a good mod. I think we found it. I believe Brian... It might have been Leo. I can't remember. One of you guys 
posted it in my mod recommendations Discord chat. And I greatly appreciate everybody that participates in that. Do we own field 31 here? Because we got to go along this road. Let me just check and see. I mean, we can buy whatever land that we want, just honestly. Um, no, we do not. So let's go ahead and buy this. And let's just go ahead and buy 32 as well. So we can just extend our grass field and have it complete all the way down the road here. Do we buy 31 just to complete it here? Eh. We may just in our grass field here and then start doing something else halfway through the map and downward. Guys, look how much of the map we own. We're almost 50% of the way. Why don't we own 42 yet? Or 11, I should say. We need this. I Like, look, this is what I'm saying. We're at that point where we can buy whatever land that we want, wherever we want. We have reach critical mass, I would say, in terms of making money. With cotton, wool, we need a bigger sheep farm. I have yet to download one. I know, I know. Posted it in my Discord channel. Link in the description. Should be. Uh, if it's not, comment, and I will post a pinned comment. Look, we still have five mil, and we just bought like three or four plots of land. I mean, y y like, it's crazy. Um, post in my mod recommendations text channel. It's just a group chat for everybody to hang out at. It's completely free. And... uh Link me a great sheep farm. I think some of you guys already have. I just haven't had the time working this past weekend to look at them. Uh, but let's go ahead and check this out here. Let's uh, lower. Oh, and let's hit create field. We're going to take up some of the already grown grass, which is fine. Wow, look, it's got a cool animation as well. Check that out. I want to get a thumbnail of this because this will be the thumbnail of this episode. All right, guys. I got some pictures as I... Turned on cruise control there. Check that out. We're going to be able to fully extend. Let me turn the map on so I can actually see where we are. Oh, yeah, we've got tons of room. Let's see. We didn't know. We do not own field 19, right? So something to keep in mind. Um, I guess this is going to take a hot minute because we got a lot of field to plow up. So I'm going to go ahead. Let's snap on the time lapse again. Hopefully we don't drop down to five frames. I think I took care of the problem. Just a heads up. It may be a cool mod and a cool mod to showcase and everything, but it tanked my frames on a 2080 Ti graphics card and a uh, i9900K uh, five gigahertz to five frames. So keep that in mind when using that mod. Um, it. I thought the series was gone right there. I thought it was. No joke. Um, all right. I will see you guys after we plow up our grass field and possibly the rest of our cotton field as well. I don't know. I'll see you guys in just a second. I'm a pro. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, so let's fly up here real quick, and I just want to show you the vast amount of land we just plowed and extended both the cotton field and the grass field. And then next, of course, is going to be the corn field. We're probably going to save that for next episode or maybe a between the episodes live stream. Not 100% certain yet. Um, and then we'll probably buy this land right here in between the roads. And we need to think of maybe, we might plant soybeans there. I haven't fully decided yet. I haven't decided if I'll cut down the trees again. I'm, I'm tired of logging, just to be honest with you. Um, and the only reason I'll log is like for RP or something. But other than that, it's just, yeah, uh, the logging stuff, I think, has come and gone. Uh, we need to finish up extending it all the way down to this road once we buy this area. But I'm not going to worry about it this episode. But guys, look at the farm. I mean, just look at an overhead view real quick of the farm. Uh, I'm going to get a screenshot as well. I mean... Guys, the farm is getting kind of outrageous. Like, it's getting huge. Um, yeah. I don't know what to do about this cotton field over here next to the wheat field. It's kind of a very, very odd-shaped farm or uh, uh, field, I should say. And if we're doing the in-between-the-roads thing, it should probably actually be continued to be a wheat field and just extend it around in that circle there. It's just so oddly shaped. It's just in an awkward area with trees and terrain around it. But, yeah, guys, look at those fields. Those are huge. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get the John Deere started on replanting or reseeding the uh, grass, I should say. And then we're also going to have him reseed the cotton field as well. Probably not going to be a time lapse. Probably just have him do it because you guys have you know seen us uh, reseed a million times. And really, I mean, is there a whole lot more to do this episode? I'm not 100% certain. It's 1 o'clock my time. I have until about 2 o'clock, so we have another hour. So I'm trying to think of what to do this episode. Uh, probably what we could do, I mean, we're going to seed these two fields up. And I guess we could do a uh, time lapse because... There's just simply, I don't want to go and sleep and get a harvest going because half of the field isn't planted yet. You know what I mean? So that's my only quarrel with that. And I believe we have this guy set up on the cotton field yet. So let's go and pick up our case tractor with the other planter here. And we'll get this guy set up on the grass field. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's set on grass. Oh, no, 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 no. Where's he at? I was about to mess up, guys. We were about to mess up. Uh, let's hit H. Cotton. Oh my gosh. Could you imagine? Oh, it was close. That was a close one. Good thing that I remembered. Because I was like, wait a minute. I changed it to grass. Oh no. All right. There's rocks everywhere here, but we're not going to worry about it. Let's go ahead and change this guy to grass. Boom. And then let's... Uh, let's drive him closer over there so he doesn't like hit anything along the way. All right, now that we're over here and we have grass selected, let's go ahead and make a course for this guy. Field position. Gosh, guys, this is such a big field. Oh my goodness. Open, one headland, sharp. We get away with two. Let's see. Is it possible? Ooh, a lot of crossover, but that may be okay. We'll try it with two. That may be okay. Let's go ahead and uh, current waypoints higher. And you know what? We do have the new Holland. However, maybe it's time for another tractor already. Because we got these two guides planting. And uh, yeah, uh, I'll tell you what we'll do. We're not going to get rid of the new Holland per se. 
Let's, however, drive the mixer up and get rid of the mixer because it's just taking up space. So I'll see you guys at the shop. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back at the shop. Let's go ahead and get rid of the mixer. And let's go over here. And what do we have here? Oh my goodness. What do we have? What is this? Where did it come from? <gasps> the 4755 Turbo John Deere tractor has appeared. Let's hop in this beast. This is our new tractor. I went ahead and built it and bought it. It was 130K. Look at this beast. Wow. It's got a front loader. It's got both three-point attachers on the front and back. The 47, 4755, I should say, has been wanted on the farm for a long time. Now, it's got the horsepower. We'll just... We'll just say that. It's got horsepower. All right, I'm going to be quiet and let you guys listen to this startup of the 4755 Turbo. What do you guys think of that? Let's go. Let's check out the lights. Front lights, back lights, all lights. Very, very nice. Very cool. Very cool. Okay. I guess without further ado, let's get him back down on the farm. Now let's just let's just admire how quick we can get up and going. All right. We have done some custom work and modifications to this engine. Are you ready? All right, let's get on the road. Here we go. Ready? Three, two, one, boom, hit it. Oh, 30 mile an hour. Oh my. Oh my. Oh, keep it on the road. 47 miles an hour. Absolutely moving, ladies and gentlemen. Check that out. Gosh. Oh, man. This tractor is going to be coming in handy for sure. I'll tell you what. Since we just bought the tractor and we don't really have anything else to do on the farm, why don't we grab the plow and extend the cornfield together? Hmm. Hmm. Let's do that. Let's grab the plow. Time to extend the cornfield. I know I said I was going to wait, but might as well. I have the time. I've got about 50 minutes until I've got to uh, roll out. Let's see. Can this attach backwards? And does it work that way? Or no? Oh, no. No, no, no. It's not like the other one. So. Gosh almighty. This thing whips so fast. Oh my god. I mean, just look how fast it is. Gosh, look, the back end just wants to set down. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, 47 mile an hour. Oh wow, I'm dropping to 30 frames. Uh oh. I think the planter in this together was not a green, maybe? 30 frames still? That's odd. All right, well, let's go over here and let's uh, extend this cornfield. Give them the old wood and fold here. I think we own this land. Let's make sure before we start, because this one shouldn't take too awful long. Uh, wait, wrong button. Uh, yeah, so we own, yeah, I mean, we can literally go almost all the way down to past 31. So we're not going to do all of it, I don't think, maybe. We'll see. Um, I, I don't want to time lapse it, I don't think. So... Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see how much we get of it, but we're also going to have to get this reseeded, which I can have running um, when I have to go out to eat with my uh, Mrs. Murano. And yeah, we, it should be fine um, and just have it reseed the corn. That's what I may do. And then next episode, we'll have a ton of harvesting. This episode, since I'm no longer going to play more than three or four hours a day, in terms of rags recording because i want to do rp and stuff and other stuff yeah I, I, just simply put i'm no longer going to spend 12 hours on a rags to riches episode it'll still be great quality it'll be high quality but less record time so in terms of what we do in each episode we might not do as much um, like this episode it was a lot of plowing a lot of upgrading of equipment a lot of getting rid of the old uh my style of editing again which you guys should enjoy um, but yeah, there, it's just no, uh oh, we can't go past that point, I guess. Oh no, we just went up a little hump there, but this should, uh, make a lot of you guys happy because a lot of you guys wanted to see me 
finally extend all the fields. So we're getting that done and that'll be great. Let me go ahead and hit alt zero so we can like go 50 mile an hour with this thing. Holy crap guys. Holy crap guys. Do we own field 45? Nope. Did you see that? Gosh almighty. Gosh almighty. Oh, slow down. Oh, we don't own that field yet. Turn here, go straight across. Yes, sir. Gosh. Like, if we want to plow fields, we definitely need to use this tractor. Holy crap. This is now the, like, dedicated plowing tractor. We built this thing to be a, uh, to be a pulling tractor for sure. Like, no reason to get a big bud or anything like that. Uh, this thing is just a monster. Let's see. Let's lower here. Let's turn. Now let's go up the gravel road. Gosh almighty, man. Kind of difficult to control, to be honest with you. Guys, our yields are going to be huge now. Like, we may need to... Well, I've got the million or five million liter... Uh, tipper trailer so we should actually be fine but lower here and roll right back down the hill at 45 miles an hour holy crap gosh just absolutely slaying this field jeez it takes it's so hard to stop it to like bounces because it's going so fast whoa 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 there we go. Oh my goodness. I just did that time lapse, which it felt like it took forever. And we are slaying this new field for the corn in, in a matter of minutes. Like, not even minutes, like a couple minutes. Oh, I'm about to sneeze. I don't know about you guys, but I'm tired of going from cold to hot to cold to hot weather. It's really getting old. Really getting old. Now we're getting a little bit of lag. This tractor lags us a little bit. We're, we're getting about 35. I'm hoping that the channel can make enough that I can invest in a new computer. Jake is going ahead before he even makes money from his channel, and he's just going to go ahead and invest in a new PC because he's still running on a 980. And I'm running on a 2080 Ti, and I'm still lagging at 30 frames right now. So, you know, eventually I will have to consider upgrading to like a 4090 setup and all that good stuff. Let's see, I'm going to push the field over a little bit, I think. Let's give it a little curve right here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-oh. Missed a little piece here. Yeah. Yeah. Check that out. Then we're going to have to slow him down and turn in here to line up with the road. Just like so. so we're kind of also remodeling the field a little bit, making it better, I think. Bigger and better. Bigger, 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 bigger and better. Let's go. All right, let's see here. Let's line up with the corner of the field and just do a quick outline sort of of the field. And then we'll go ahead and take care of the small piece. Dude, this tractor and plow are cutting down on the time it takes to do all this bull crap in like a matter of seconds. Like, holy crap. Let's see if we can get this now. Oh. Yep, not part of our land. What we'll to buy that? I'm gonna do it right now before I forget because we need to. Field 45 by yes, because I'm not gonna be happy if I can't get that piled up. There we go. Man, this tractor just wants to go. Oh, pulling up. There we go. Good lord. We need a front weight for sure because it's not sticking to the ground so that may be something we need to do for this tractor it's like bouncing you can tell when it has this plow folded out like watch this let's see mm. yeah it's like pulling back so we definitely need to get a weight and after we plow this up we'll go grab one a small little part of the field here like, see how we're trying to turn right now and it's taking a minute? It's because we don't have good traction on the front tires. 
and also I, I bet the amount of torque that this tractor is putting out is off the charts you know what I mean you know what I mean now well, can we Oh, this up now is it lifted out of the ground no we oh almost got it let's see we'll have to back up into that I think I don't want to mess up the field though it should be fine there we go got that nice and squared off and then we should be able to hit this all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna unhook here Let's go grab a front weight real quick because we desperately need one. I don't know how heavy. I don't want to go too heavy, but I want to be heavy enough that we get traction on the tractor there. All right, let's stop right here. Let's go to, um, I should be able to hit combinations on it, right? So combinations. Oh, no. Let's do, is weights here? Weights. Here we go. Um... 900 John Deere 900. Let's do this one. All right, guys, we got the 900 weight sitting there. Let's go ahead and hook up to him. There we go. Now we should have some weight on the front so we can actually turn decently. Looks like it helped out a bit there. Still able to go 47. Holy crap. So I'm just going to guess with the attacher on the back of this plow here, you could probably pull a cedar behind this thing if I had to guess, right? And you could seed like behind as you plow, I suppose, if I had to guess. Because that's the only thing that I can think of as to why that that is there. Let's see. All right, let's get back to the plowing here. Now, I believe it still has enable field creation on. Nope, turn it off. Okay, that's good to know. Good to know for future reference. Guys, this field's not taking long at all, and we're getting everything else planted up, which is good. I hope everybody's having a good Valentine's Day. I know it's like, you know, not a holiday for everyone because not everybody's, you know, in a relationship or anything like that. So if you are, hope you have a good one. If you're not, it's a just another day, I suppose. Just another day at the gridiron, you know what I'm saying? See, we've got to go around this obstacle here and then just go ahead and make it a big circle. Uh, yeah, I wish that these rocks weren't uh, just decoration and we could actually bust them up. You know what I mean? Because unfortunately, that's what they are and you can't do nothing with them. All right, now let's uh, get back on to the field creation here. Front weight really helps with traction, but we're still not getting full traction. I've noticed it's it's just difficult to turn, I think, maybe, with all this horsepower, I guess. You pretty much got to slow down to almost a stop and then swing it. There we go. Guys, what do you, like, what do you think? The farm is exploding like explosive growth all of a sudden we're just flying heck yeah i love it even if we only made it to 70 episodes organically and that's just what we made it to you know we could do a new map season two it would be great and eventually guys like i know a lot of you you know obviously don't want it to end or nothing like that but there at some point there's going to be just no more that we can do on this particular map, right? And we got to accept it when it happens. Because, I mean, at the rate we're going, guys, we're getting bigger and bigger equipment. Things are accelerating. Um, we honestly probably need more productions for, like, doubling up our productions, doubling up our cow barns doubling up on everything now that we have so much of this stuff because we're capping out on the cow barn that we currently have in terms of storage for things like silage and stuff so that tells me that we need another one and we may even need another bottling milk factory you know what i mean um or maybe we just cut out the middle there and we just sell the milk raw because uh bottled milk uh, factory pallets tank FPS unfortunately so maybe we just start selling milk raw because money like I said clothes is the game ticket winner I mean 30k a pallet you know like come on now that's kind of crazy you know what I mean 
Um, and no, I'm not raising the difficulty just to continue and prolong the series. I'm not doing it. This is what we're playing on. This is what we're doing. We're not raising it up to hard. We're going to continue at the pace that we're going. And that's just how it's going to be. All right, we got this done in no time. Um, I think there's a small patch of grass over here. Yep, there it is. Let's hit this real quick. Boom. And then there's another little bitty dot right up here. And guys, do we buy a third planter? Like, hmm, I'm debating it. I am debating it for sure. Do we buy a third planter? Hmm. Hmm. I I can't decide right off the top of my head. Because now we have this field that we need to replant. We have four total huge fields. Hmm. I don't know. You guys like to uh, let me know in the comments. Because I am running out of time and I don't want to buy another planter and then we can't continue on with it. But guys, this tractor is a monster. Let's just get that in front of everybody. Like this thing is wicked. Wicked fast. What time is all right? It's one thirty my time. So, you know what? We might just go ahead and shut it down here. Maybe I'm thinking because there's. I mean, there's not really anything else that we need to do. He's missing a couple of grass spots, but it's no big deal. We need to lime and stuff, but honestly, I don't have enough time to do so. So, hmm. Big Bertha's chilling. Oh, I forgot. I, I have completely forgot all about Big Bertha. But you know what? You guys love it when we get new tractors, so it's fine. It's fine. This is kind of a little surprise upgrade at the end. You know what I mean? You mm, know what I mean? Let's go ahead and back this bad boy into the garage here. Let's shut him down. Oh, yeah. We also have liquid lime, I believe. Let me take a look. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't see it there. Um, uh oh, somebody is blocked by an object. Let's see what's going on. It's going on and off, so maybe they're just turning. Where are they at? Oh. Yeah, it's this awkward spot in the middle. This is so booty. Like, why is it trying to turn around? That's what I don't get. Let's uh move him out of the way here. Get him turned around. So that's going to be a problem, this area. And unfortunately, I can't. I can only get rid of the trees, but as far as that rock goes, I can't touch it for whatever reason they determined that that was a good idea. I guess we can just reactivate him here, maybe. Nearest current tire. Okay, let's see if that helps him. He's going to go all the way around, I think. But I'm not 100%. I just hope it doesn't hang up on anything. If it does, I can chop the tree down, but yeah, he's gonna definitely, yeah, look at this. Look at this guy. Oh, where are you going? Where are you going, buddy? Look at this cat. I'm going into the trees. And there's nothing you can do to stop me. Eh, 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 eh. Oh, yep. Oh, oh, the trees. Please, gosh, man. My only gripe about this map is that you can't delete rocks. Oh, man. You can't You can't even use equipment. Because remember, we tried to do that. It's just, that's the biggest aggravating and fault with this map. We're still going to hit the tree, aren't we? Gosh dang it, guys. Okay, we're going to... Go this way, straight across. Okay, let's lift this guy up. Let's turn him around and get him set. So that'll be an obstacle that we have to go around every single time. Unfortunately. Let's get him right here. Okay. Let's hit delete and let's hit higher. Boom. Okay, that should have him sorted out. Because that's the only tricky part of this course. And I'm going to have to learn to get better at course play when I have the time. But I do plan on this evening recording a uh, RP episode. So that'll be a thing. All right, let's hop out of this thing. Let's check on the 
grass field planter. Oh yeah, he's doing fine. Yeah, we uh, we need this planted next, which I can always do that off camera. That'll be fine. In the next episode, we'll do a ton of harvesting. Guys, look at the field. Look at the farm. Let's go over here to the corner. Wow. Check that out. Guys, what the heck? I feel like in the last few episodes, we were really progressing the farm in a big way. But uh, it's 1.30. Um, I'm going to go probably get ready to go out with the woman uh, for Valentine's Day, a day early. It's uh, 2 13 2023. Uh, but we like to do that because obviously everybody goes out tomorrow night and it's just, I'm not waiting an hour or two to eat. And I want tonight. Like, if it's packed, then we'll just do it a different day. Um, but yeah, guys, what do you guys think so far of the series? Now, I know, I know the edits you didn't like of the last few episodes of Rags. This is why this episode is the way it is. Hope you guys like it. Back to that old style kind of a let's play feel. More filler, more more talking, less jumps, uh, less less jumping and progressing and, and not including a harvesting time lapse when I say and all that good stuff. Yeah, so if you guys like this video, if you don't mind for me hitting the like button, and uh, or if you don't like it, hit the dislike button. I could honestly care less. Uh, whichever one, just hit one of them to help out the channel and get this episode to more people like you and me that enjoy this type of content, Farming Simulator related. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. We jumped from 5K to 6K from a viral TikTok of our last RP video, and then obviously people finding us on YouTube now. But guys, 10K seems achievable, especially if we start pumping out RP videos. And I'll be honest, RP videos are 100 times more fun to make for me than rags. And that's just the truth. Um, it's so fun to like role play and like get into it and start making dialogue between made believe characters, you know, like Mrs. Dooley. It, it gets really fun. And me and Jake have have some ideas. Uh, we're going to collab on some RP videos and stuff, kind of like the squad does, you know, but obviously with our own unique spin on it and, and our own soul poured into it. And uh, who knows? His brother's a lawyer. I stated on the live stream, he might come in and do some legal jargon with uh, some projects and stuff that we do with RP. We, we'll, we'll see what we can do, uh, what we can mix up there. But I, I think the future of the channel is going to be great. And uh, if you guys haven't already, I'll link Jake's channel in the, the, the comments or the description. He is so close to 1,000 subs, it's unreal. He's at like 940. So if you guys don't mind going over there and subscribing to him, he's a, another FS creator. He's got his Bottom of the Barrel series. He's getting better and better at editing. He's getting better and better at uh, thumbnail design. And, and uh, he's going to start doing some RP as well. As stated, we'll probably collab on some RP and stuff. And I may make some appearance in uh, some appearances in his stuff. Uh oh, somebody's blocked again. Oh, well, I'll take care of it in a minute. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. And have a good one. And peace out. <laughs>